Science Gamer Alpha here, and if the uh, my uh, voice on my microphone is a little scratchy because I'm not using the usual microphone that's on my desktop, I'm using my headset, and this microphone is a little eh, but we will, pre we will prevail. Now, I'm actually going to sh show you something interesting. Um, we're going to run, I actually have this running Warframe on Linux. Now you're probably going to think, well, what's so special about it? What's so great about it? If you can get it installed, it, and it, then it works, that's great. Well, what's special about it is, it has easy anti-cheats. That's right. We're running a game on Linux with easy anti-cheats on. And it works. Now, before we do this, I have to mention something. I've been delaying this video for a while. It's been I've been doing it for quite a while. It's been running for a while and I delay it. And there's a reason why. Oops, didn't mean to put it on there. Um here. Now it and it's because of this. Sims 4 installed on Linux. Now you probably ask, why do I care about that? Because this was removed. That's right. YouTube removed it. I appealed it and then put it back. Now I can't find I guess I guess for the email when you try to click on it, it it takes it off, but the reason why, which I should have screenshot when I had a chance, I really did, should have, there was actually two of them. I had one message saying that it was promoting violence. Installing Sins 4 Steam version on Linux promotes violence. Wow. And then they sent me another message after it was moved saying it was, um, I was showing people how to get free stuff, free software or something like that. Oh, how to steal. So basically saying I was showing people how to steal. Oh yes, I'm showing people how to steal a game that is free to play. Now, it wouldn't matter too much if this is removed on YouTube. Why? Because I have a backup. Yeah, if you ever go over, where is it, right here, go over and you have a YouTube channel and you worry that YouTube, because <laughs> let's face it, let's, you trust I trust uh, YouTube like I trust my ex-wife with my wallet, then you would always have a second channel a sec on a second uh, platform, even if it's not popular or no one really watches that much. Because then you could just tell them, here, just go on here on Rumble to get this, uh, this find out what it is. I was gonna go do that do a video explaining to him, but this happened at 10 o'clock, went to, appealed it, went to sleep, woke up, oh, it's back on. Oh, okay, and basically YouTube kind of said, oopsies. So, every time I'm going to do a video, show you how to run any kind of game on Linux. I'm going to promote Rumble on this, on the beginning of it, because it's bull that you have to be forced to have a second platform just to make sure you don't, no one take, takes down your videos. Because I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't. I should just choose a platform and hopefully do the best. But now I have to do a backup. 
So yes, this rumble, come to my channel, subscribe, it would be great if you could, I mean, but as of right now, you can still do YouTube, doesn't matter. Anyways, back to this, and yes, you can play Warframe on Linux, but you cannot use Proton. That's right, it will only use Wine. I have, I don't think that's the Wine I'm using, could be. Uh, let me just go back to here, let's go to the settings. I'm going to show you the settings. You have to pretty much be this exact settings to it to work. Now, first of all, I always do, this always is checked on automatically, no matter what. You are going to need to click on these to download the Easy Anti-Cheat Runtime and the Battle Eye Anti-Cheat. I don't know if you need them both. I just do it anyways. It shouldn't be a problem. They'll just pick one anyways. Um, this is optional. I'm not sure about that, but do not click on these. If you click on these two, you just get a black box, and you don't want that. Um, I'm not sure about that. You do have the new game mode, but yes, this is my settings. I will slowly go down, up and down on it, to show you these are the settings you have to do. And you have to set it on Wine, or Proton Wine 34. This is the newest one I have right now. But yes, it does work, and I am going to prove it to you, because I'm going to run it in just a moment. Go into the... Uh, and if you hit play, as you can see, it goes into wine. <coughs> Give it a second. Wine takes a little while. Come on, load. Uh, what? Where are you going? Uh, why aren't you running? Hold on a second. Let's just change the line. Oh, let's do a new one. Sign, you're not going to do it soon? All right, fine. Okay, now I got it working. Um, I had to go to wine 32 for some reason. Weird. Right. You hit start. Oh, come on. There it goes. And now, it pops up 
like this. Now I'm just going to check this. And this is now a plane. And it's going to check the up to date and everything like that. I even you can click on here. High performance. Make sure I get the full screen. It's still being hands. Always make sure you do the DirectX 11, not anything else. And high performance. So, I'm going to go over and pause, cut the video here, and then go into the game, and I'm going to sh just show you uh, that you can run the game. Just, I'll be right back. Anyways, um, as you can see, the game runs pretty well. Good. As you can see, this right game runs pretty well. You know, moves around. Um, I can't really do anything else besides this, but uh, I just want to show you. Oh, don't want to, man. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to block that out right there. Um. There is one little thing about this. When you first start the uh, the game, um, you are going to go over a little bit of slow time down and stuff like that. Now, this is not because of Linux or anything. This is Vulkan. Vulkan shaders have to sort out all the uh, little uh, um, graphics and stuff like that. So oh, you are going to have some... Were you visualizing a bloody battle? Me too. Yeah, okay about that. But, yes. It runs okay. You can play games. I'm not going to go into a game because then I'm not going to go, like, showing people's uh, uh, username on YouTube. But I just want to show you, you can actually run this on Linux. And that's how you do it. So, you can go into a match and everything else, and you just, it runs smoothly. It just runs. So, that's it for the video. If you uh, like this, like and subscribe. Like I said, this video may not stay on YouTube. So, you're going to have to... Uh, either save this or something like that or just learn all this or go into um, Rumble maybe subscribe to Rumble then you can make sure you can go right to, to it and you can make sure uh, that you don't you know don't lose or anything like that I don't think it's going to be removed on Rumble YouTube I don't know so thanks again like and subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.